Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church Philippines, uh, Verity Baptist Church Manila, and Verity Baptist Church Pampanga with a quick missionary update. And uh, this past week was another great week. We had a total of uh, 190 salvations is what we counted between our ministries. And uh, we had our uh, big soul winning marathon in Pampanga on Saturday. So we had our normal church services on Saturday and uh, then we had an extended soul winning time. We had a lunch fellowship and uh, we had um, extended soul winning and then we had a uh, fellowship afterwards in the park there. We had 19 soul winners and 40 salvations. So that was great, uh, great results. And the, the park was just awesome. And so, um, you know, we've had soul winning missions trips in uh, Ermita, um, in Rizal or Luneta Park. And those parks, that park is just packed with people from all over the Philippines that are there and even all over the world. And when we went to this park, um, it was just it was just packed here in Pampanga. There's people from all over Luzon, people from different areas. And so um, a lot of people didn't even live nearby, but it was just a beautiful park. And it was a great time to be able to do some soul winning and uh, talk to lots of people because there was a lot of people out and about. But also get a time to just refresh yourself and get a time of fellowship in the park. So that was great. And uh, we're looking forward to doing a lot of uh, bigger and better things in Pampanga in 2021. We've had a slow and steady growth there in Pampanga. And um, we're, I, I know of other people that are planning to uh, come to our church or move to our church that are, are, have not been able to due to everything due to the lockdown, but potentially could be joining our church here in the future or moving to our church. And then we're just trying to reach people nearby and we've just been slowly increasing. So that was a great day on Saturday. Um, in Manila, we had 149 salvations. And you know, the truth is that um, there are people at our church that got more people saved than me this, this past week. It's, it's not just me going out there soul winning, but uh, we, we have just a congregation of people that love God and love soul winning. And uh, we have our official soul winning times on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday in Manila. But people are going out in their personal time. And other people are organizing events on Saturdays and going. And so just a lot of salvations. Things are going really well. Just a great day of soul winning on Sunday despite um, having some rainy weather. And great results on Saturday. And just everything's going really well. So um, we do have some soul winning marathons this week on uh, Thursday. And so Thursday is a holiday, the Edsa Revolution and um, we're going to have it in some various locations. We've had so many events recently that um, it, it's, it's sort of exhausting. We're just kind of getting through each event. After this event, though, there's going to be a bit of a break between major events. We did have our prayer meeting on Sunday, which went well, but then we've had a lot of soul winning marathons, and then we're going to have a soul winning marathon this Thursday. And so stay tuned for that. We should have uh, good results this week. We hope to report to you. And uh, in terms of sermons that I preached, on uh, Wednesday I went through Hosea chapter 9, talked about the Assyrian takeover of Israel. And um, I also, on Sunday, we finished our Fundamental Family Tips, and that was a 10-part series. Uh, we talked about the extended family, or the, the dreaded in-laws, or the relatives. So we talked about that on Sunday. And we also talked about Romans 12, um, Romans 12a. We just went through the first couple verses in Romans 12, which are packed, going all in for God. And we'll finish Romans 12 here in a few weeks. We'll finish uh, the rest of the chapter. But I have some other sermons to preach here this coming Sunday. So overall, things are going really well. And just continue to be in prayer for our ministry. I guess um, some of the, 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 the problems we've had are just really rainy weather, um, which obviously the Philippines is a very rainy country. But just really especially um, this past six months in a time when you don't usually have a lot of weather. Usually once you're getting to November, um, the weather's kind of tailing off. When we moved to the Philippines, there was, there was really only one, one Sunday within the first you know six months where we had any sort of weather that kind of restricted us from soul winning. But we've just had a lot of rainy weather um, just all the way through the end of the year. And then January, February, March is usually a non-rainy time. And then even April, there might be a little bit of rain. It's really hot, but not really a whole lot of rain, really restricting you, because we've always felt like we could do so many missions trips the first, you know, from February to April without too many problems. Even in May, not a whole lot of rain, just kind of really hotter weather. But we've had a lot of rain, um, a lot of low pressure areas, and so it is what it is, but we've still been able to push forward and get a lot of souls saved. And so we just have a lot of exciting events coming up here. Um, we do have our soul winning marathon this Thursday. 
and we have a bit of a break, but just a lot of exciting events we're planning in 2021. So uh, just continue to be in prayer for our ministry, both in uh, Manila and Pampanga. We have a lot of different things we're thinking about and ideas for the future as our church has expanded and, and just a lot of big decisions to make. So just be in prayer for us. And anyways, thank you and God bless.